Chapter One: The Skeletal System. Hello, my name is Doctor Wellbody. Some of you may remember me. I visited your school once before. You were in first grade then. We learned about some of the systems that keep your body working. I told you to eat healthy food so you would grow up to be big and strong. It looks like you listened to me too. I see that you have grown a lot since then. You are getting big and tall. I am here today to help you learn more about the body and its systems. In the next few days, we will learn about three systems: the skeletal system, the muscular system, and the nervous system. I'd like to begin with the skeletal system. The skeletal system is made up of bones that give your body shape. I have a slideshow here on my computer. The first slide shows the skeletal system. The picture on the right shows what the skeletal system looks like from the front. The one on the left shows what it looks like from the side. There are more than two hundred bones in your body. When I went to medical school to learn to be a doctor, I had to learn the name of every bone in the body. I had to study very hard. You kids don't need to be able to name every bone in the body, but you should know the names of some of the more important bones. So let's get started. Let's start at the top with the skull. Doctors call this set of bones the cranium. The skull or cranium has a very important job. It protects your brain. You might think the skull is all one big bone, but that's not the case. In fact, a human skull is a set of twenty-two bones. Rub the back of your neck. Can you feel the bone that's right at the base of your neck? That's one of the bones in your spine or spinal column. The spine is a chain of bones that runs down through your neck and back. It runs from the base of the skull all the way down to your hips or pelvis. The spinal column is made up of more than thirty smaller bones stacked one on top of another. These smaller bones are called vertebrae. The vertebrae protect a bundle of nerves called the spinal cord. The spinal cord delivers nerve signals to and from the brain. You may remember learning that animals with spines or backbones are called vertebrates. That's because their spines are made up of vertebrae. My next slide shows the bones inside your chest. If you tap on your chest right in the middle, you can feel your breastbone. It's also known as the sternum. If you tap a bit to the left or the right. You may be able to feel some of your ribs. The ribs protect inner organs like the heart and lungs. If you look at the slide, you can see why people sometimes talk about the rib cage. The rib bones look like the bars of a cage. Do you see the two large bones behind the rib cage? They are shaped like triangles. There's one on each side. These are your shoulder blades. The medical name for the shoulder blade is the scapula. The last two bones I want to tell you about are leg bones. They are called the tibia and the fibula. These are the two bones in the lower part of your leg. The tibia is the larger of the two. Okay, that's a lot of bones and a lot of names. Let's play Simon Says and see if you can remember the names. I'll be Simon. Are you ready? Simon says, "Tap your skull." Simon says, "Now tap your cranium." Ha! The cranium is the same thing as the skull. Did I trick any of you? Simon says, "Flex your vertebrae by bending over and touching your tibia." 
Simon says, take a deep breath and feel your rib cage expand. Simon says, put your pelvis to work and sit down. Now, reach back and see if you can touch one of your scapulae or shoulder blades. Wait, I didn't say Simon says. Did I catch anyone?